Ring had said that um, one of the fights that he wants to see you in is uh, the Lofkin rematch. He said that there's unfinished business there, and now that you have the belt, he doesn't have any belts, you have some leverage there. Is that a fight that uh, um, intrigues you on a personal level? Now there's more of an, uh, a reward than the risk, whereas before, he didn't give me the rematch, you know? He would, I wouldn't give me a rematch too if I was Golovkin, <laughs> to be honest with you, but now there's almost nowhere for him to go. And from what I'm hearing, if he doesn't sign with his own, he's not going to get any of those big fights that he truly wants. But we'll see what happens. Um, I'm, in good, I'm in good hands right now. I'm in the best position in my career. Let's talk about that a little bit. Um, what we're going to do in this video is we're going to talk about the 160-pound division as a whole, not just uh, Danny Jacobs. So, I guess this is a good place to start. we got to break down the uh, landscape for you. On T-Street Controversy, this is T-Street Controversy Live with uh, FightView360.com. Below, the link, in the, the link is in the description box for our, um, the page to our rankings. They're not our rankings. They're actually, they're actually the official rankings of the WBC, WBA, IBF, and WBO. But they're edited. Every week, if there's a title fight and the champion changes by me, but the official rankings don't come out um, weekly by these organizations. They're done every month and they're done on different dates. For example, you can expect the WBO rankings to be coming out very soon because they're wrapping up their commission and they don't have a uh, title fight coming up until after next. Um, they have a title fight coming up next week with Usyk. And bell you so i expect for the rankings to be updated for them next week but the point is they all update their rankings differently each month at different times you may have one update on the fifth of one month the next month they may not update until the 17th ibf may update on like the 22nd one month and then update again on like the 16th for the next month is is is, is like that so what i do is I go every week and I just add the champions and I'm trying to get a better system so that my uh, um, rankings look better on mobile. So I'm not a web developer. And technically, now I'm a web developer, but I built all this stuff myself because I was using everybody else's rankings. And the rankings are very important to the content that we talk about here on the channel to be able to get you to better understand the politics. Right. So we have Canelo, the W, the WBC and the WBA. 160 pound champion you have jamal charlo who's the wbc interim you can say he's the interim because he's the mandatory but it's the way the wbc passes uh pacifies you by saying well here look take this underling belt and this guarantees you just guarantees you a, a you you a shot even though you were already going to get your shot in the first place so Jamal Charlo should be getting his title shot against Canelo unless Canelo vacates, which I doubt he'll do. But remember, Canelo can now go two different unifications if he wants. A unification trumps a mandatory. So Jamal Charlo, let's say, for example, here's a scenario. Here's a scenario. And we're going to talk more about Rocky Felding and Canelo. Well, Canelo and Rocky Felding later on in the video. Let's say Canelo beats Rocky Felding. Then he comes back down to 160. It's very likely he's going to fight Danny Jacobs in May, May the 4th, uh, 2019, on the zone in the T-Mobile Arena. Then, if he wins that fight, if he can go on and fight Demetrius Andrick, those are two fights he can take before fighting Jamal Charlo. And let's say if he wants to be even more um, uh, frisky, he can go up to uh, 168 pounds again and maybe fight a Colin Smith or whoever's up there. So right now, Jamal Charlo on his side of things fighting Willie Monroe. After he fights Willie Monroe, if he don't get the Canelo fight next, then he has to really start considering, okay, it's time to go to the zone. Now, he's already said, in fact, I'm going to pull up the, uh, the interview for He's already said he's open to going to the zone. It's just that he wants more money. And right now, he's doing the right thing by, I guess, holding out. Damn, did I upload the? the... Here, I think it's right here. You guys, to come, if you guys want a shot at their champions, you have to be part of the, uh, the Zone channel. Hey, listen. The zone there, right now, a dozen right now we're dummies. fighting on. <laughs> Let them do what they do. Like I said yesterday, Hearn get burned. Drop <laughs> we did. It all sounds the same. Don't worry. Look, gonna we're going to continue right? to do what we've been doing. 
we don't want to talk bad about him because yeah. they they need that they, you know but let me he's see. in he's in he's in new york right now the way that with us now listen who you hear the the better off like we not know we not going like her Right okay, so you're hearing two Charlos talk. They're talking over each other. But you're also hearing Jamal saying, look, we in New York right now because they had their press conference for their PBC on Fox, uh, December the 22nd uh, fight on Tuesday. Or was, yeah, was it Tuesday? I forgot the date. But long story short, Eddie Hearn had his press conference like the day, whatever. They, they had their press conferences in New York, two arenas apart, a day apart of, from each other. So listen, listen, listen closely. You can hear Jamal in the background and you can hear him basically saying how open he is. But they got to come to pause, how open he is to the deal. I mean, to the zone, but they got to come up with a better offer. It all sounds the same. Don't worry. Look, gonna we're going to continue right to do what we've been doing. We don't want to talk bad about him because yeah. they, they need that, they, you know, but yeah. let me he's, he's in He's in New York right now. The way that with us is and shoot us a bit of off. Like, we not know. Look, we like, not going. Like, like, Eddie Hearns on some going down shit. like that. Eddie Hearns on some love and hip hop shit. Some he's boxing trying to, He on some love and hip hop shit. <laughs> trying to get artists that are already done and washed up. And that's what they, to me, that's what, you know, you see artists you don't even see. Like in a long time, you see my love and hip hop and shit, right? Well, Eddie Hearns, we don't know. How many fighters, how many L's do they got? Some of them, how many L's do some of them fighters got? Do we really got some superior undefeated dogs? That was our uh, Jamel Charlo clown in the zone. You know, like talking about like uh, Gabriel Rosado and Brandon Rios and all that. Oh, wait, that wasn't what I was trying to do. But let's go talk about um, Rob Brett. Rob Brett could very well be possibly fighting Murata again, likely in Japan in a rematch. He has that WBA belt that Danny Jacobs used to have that shouldn't even be around, that Golovkin had unified with Danny Jacobs for, with. David Lemieux, he is the uh, WBA mandatory for Canelo, but not Rob Brandt. Right now, Danny Jacobs can do whatever he wants. He just won the title. There's no mandatory, so if he gets the Canelo fight, more power to him. Demetrius Andre, WBO champion, you have um, Danny Jacobs saying that he's, you know, not interested in fighting um, Demetrius Andre because they're friends. And I can understand, you know, I can understand it. I can Let me see if I can find it for you. Um, first, I'd like to ask you, what are your thoughts on Canelo versus Felding? And things don't normally go perfect or the way they should, um, you know, in boxing. But if Canelo does lose, you know, would you fight um, Demetrius Andre? Are you going to fight yeah, the title though he's your friend? I'll be right back. Um, I'm up for, it, for, it, for any fight that makes sense. Um, me and Boo Boo had a discussion before that we would only do it for the big bucks and we would only do it for unification. Um, but if it's a fight that makes sense for the near future, I can't go against it. That's like my brother, though. And, and we have an understanding. Uh, but if an upset happens, which it always does in boxing, you can never dictate what happens. We'll have to see for the near future. But I have no plans in fighting him. Is it something that I want to do? Absolutely not. It's not like a Peter Quillen or a Survey Derbychenko where we're just associates. Like, I've known Bubu since I was 15, 16 years old. We came up the amateur ranks together. His father is like an uncle to me. You know, this is way more personal than anything. But we also love the sport of boxing. And we also want to do it for the sport of boxing. So we have plans on facing each other, but hopefully in, in the future, not the near future. Danny. Thank you. Danny, over to your right. Oh, I'm sorry. Give me one second. Give me one second. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I can, I, I can dig that. You know, and I remember how when he was supposed to, well, when he did fight Peter Quill and that fight was being built up, it was like, well, they're friends. My bad, I was taking some of my uh, CBD oil vape char uh, vape cartridge. Literally, like, saved my life. But let's go back and look at the rankings again. Demetrius Andrade, uh, I tried to talk to him uh, at uh, Jacobs versus Derevianchenko, but uh, long story short, he was busy. Let's just leave it at that. Um... Billy Joe Saunders, we don't know what the WBO is going to do with him yet. That's why I got him in red with the, you know. Because technically, he's kind of like the mandatory until the WBO says otherwise. However, hopefully something can be, we'll hear something this week because of the WBO convention, uh, convention, convention being um, this week. 
I really, really, really want to talk to Rocky Felding. We're trying to secure that interview. Because if you've seen that height, in fact, let me let me look it up. If you've seen that height difference, man. Uh that height. Oh, I didn't mean to go there. Damn you. That height difference is crazy. I don't think this is it. And now two fighters have entered the ring. Only one will have the other hallway. I still can't believe they got Canelo. Even though he's not a uh, Eddie Hearn fighter, Eddie Hearn is loving it. What the fuck? Who is this guy? How did he get the golden boy handle? Oh, man, they're going to make me search through all of this, man. They're going to make me search through it all, huh? Golden boy. Is how you like it? Hmm? Like that? Huh? Everybody get your scroll. Look at uh Eddie Reynoso teaching um King Rod how to be a man instead of posting fucking tree hugger shit on fucking Twitter. I had to unfollow him. All that love shit he posted, man. You know, I just wish I could just go around the world and just love all the trees and the ladies. Sometimes I wake up and I look at the stars and I say, I know there's a lot of beautiful women out there crying. Like, I'd be like, what the fuck, man? pissing me off <laughs> like it's like all look i'm sure you look you know what listen i unfollowed you i'm gonna show you oh, how much time we got left i'm bullshitting around i'm bullshitting around how much you want to bet he got some fucking tree hugger shit come on so let's go look at it look 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 oh, fucker i'm sad good night Cardi B cute when she mad. A little advice, don't force love. It's going to hit you unexpectedly. If you like to get neglected in your life, this motherfucker, I, I want out. I want out. I can't do it. I can't do it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, people. He's a good fighter, good kid. You know, can't do it. Um... I got to do a thorough Canelo versus Felding video. The time has come. Fight's creeping up on us. I got to do a thorough Jamal Charlo versus Willie Monroe video, even though I think Jamal Charlo is going to likely stop him. No disrespect to Willie Monroe. Danny Jacobs, you know, looks like he's going to be waiting. You know, we may not see him. It's very likely we're not going to. Canelo's got to win. So we won't know what Danny Jacobs is going to do until, you know, that happens. Unless Canelo has other plans in regards to Golovkin, the rumors are, well, technically, um, it's not a rumor. Uh, he said it to uh, uh, Behind the Gloves, Joy Phelps' channel, Joy Phelps herself, that uh, Golovkin may be going after Colum Smith, WBA Super World Champion. So, therefore, if Rocky Feldin gets beat by Canelo and Golovkin was to fight Colum Smith in a win, he would be the Super World Champion, beat the winner of the World Boxing Super Series, and the WBC Diamond Champion. I see, I see what they're going for. But Conor Smith with Golovkin style and the fact of how he likes to uh, uh, throw his hands, you know, with the knuckles facing down against a guy like Conor Smith who literally fights tall. It's a dangerous fight. Especially for a Golovkin that doesn't go to the body. Dangerous, dangerous, dangerous fight. We're going to talk about it all. Hopefully we get to talk to Lom, uh, Tom Tom Loeffler soon. I'm trying to get him on the channel for a phone interview, and we could talk about a lot of different subjects. For example, uh, Ryan Blue Chip Martin, uh, 360 Promotions. Uh, what's going on with Golovkin? What's going on with uh, the 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 Superfly Three? So, so your Brockus and women's boxing. What else? I'm missing something. I'm missing something. I'm T-Street Controversy. This is T-Street Controversy Live. 
with FightView360.com to see our rankings. The link is right there below in the description box.